Hello, welcome to day two of From Blender to 5M. Today, we are going to spend some time in Blender. We're going to spend time getting to know Blender, getting comfortable with the tools that we will be using to create our MLO. Blender is a free program. So if you have not installed it yet, you can check the description box below for a direct link to the download page. Today, all you need is Blender. And all I need is your attention. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so now we've that we've opened up Blender, this is what you will see. If this is your first time using Blender, you will see a splash screen that looks something like this. Um, and if you've used Blender before, you won't see this splash screen. You'll see something like this where it show all of your previous projects that you've been working on. If you click over here on the right side of this splash screen, it will remove it completely and you will have your viewport. You will be able to see your different objects in your viewport. Okay. Um, on the right side of the screen, top right side of the screen, that is what we call our outliner. Um, in the outliner, it is going to show us everything that we have in our scene. We have our cube, we have our light, and we have our camera. Um, so whatever objects that you're working on and creating is, it'll be there in the outliner. Below the outliner is another sidebar that will that has additional tools that we'll be using to create our MLO. We only there are only a couple that we'll be using. Um, we're not going to go into detail right now about what those are, but just know that they are there. Don't don't want to stress you out or overwhelm you. We're going to take it a step at a time. Okay. Again, this is our viewport with our cube, our light, and our camera on the left side of the screen and the top of the screen is another is another toolbar that we'll be focused on um the toolbar on the left well first i'll just say at the top of the screen you see where it says object mode um this is where we'll switch between switch between object mode and edit mode um edit mode is when we can go and shape and, and move things around as we might as we need them to okay but on the left side toolbar, we have our select tool, our cursor. Um, obviously, the select tool allows you to select the objects in the scene, the cursor. You can move your cursor around um, in the world. We have our move tool, um, our scale and our rotate tool, which will be um, fo highly focused on using um, in the creation of an MLO. I turn on my hotkey so that I can show you more um so that you'll be able to see what i'm doing as i am you know clicking the buttons uh to create let's take a moment to look at some additional viewports we have our shading viewport our uv editing viewport and of course the layout viewport well, once again let's go through them again we have our uv editing viewport and we have our shading viewport one more time i'm just doing this a few times because these are so important um, this is what we will be using our layout viewport, our UV editing viewport and our shading viewport. Okay. Um, they're so important. We will spend a lot. I won't say a lot of our time. We'll spend most of our time here in the layout viewport, but the UV editing and the shading is, is just as important. Okay. All right. So if you click left click onto into the viewport in our layout, um, it'll allow you to select you can select the objects or you can just click off of objects but that is our select tool um you can box select by clicking and dragging across the screen um if you press down on the middle mouse button it'll allow you to pan around objects um or pan around the origin point in the scene um so that is what we're doing so i'm going through these um as I go through this, I want you to follow along with me and just get comfortable because with these, what I'm, we're going through over right now is what you're going to be using all the time. The buttons, the shortcuts, all the time. If you right click, it will bring up that menu. Um, just more options. Yes, we will be using that menu. So you can right click and you will see. 
um you can look over it and just see what is there i won't dive too far into it right now okay if you scroll on your mouse wheel you're able to zoom in and out um from your point of origin okay if you press control and you scroll at the same time um or you click down on your middle mouse button um you are able to have more control over your zoom okay um you can also click right here at the spyglass and it will allow you to zoom as well and if you click on the hand it will allow you to move around in space and then we have our camera and um our orthographic view um if you use the hand and you can see that we're not just panning because we're not panning now now we're actually moving around in space when you click down on your middle mouse button it will pan around the object versus actually moving around in space um so if you need to do more than just pan around your object you can click this hand right here and it will allow you to move around i think one of the moving around in blender was one of the most confusing things at first when i first started learning how to move around in blender i don't typically use the hand i like to click shift and middle mouse button at the same time to move around in space for for me blender is heavily focused highly focused um what am i trying to say highly keyboard shortcut focus okay so a lot of the moving that i do i do with keyboard shortcuts um, as well as um when i'm editing i use a lot of keyboard shortcuts i don't typically use the on-screen uh gadget gadgets gadgets get gizmos what i'm trying to say i don't typically use the on-screen gizmos i use the shortcuts so just taking taking a moment so that you can get used to moving around in blender for those who aren't familiar with blender blender i do, do know that some of you who are watching are familiar with blender but some aren't so i'm starting from the bottom from the ground and we come into the top okay so just spend some time panning around getting familiar with holding down shift and clicking middle mouse button and dragging across the screen at the same time if you want to use the gizmos on the screen you can do that um you don't have to use shift for me just pressing shift and middle mouse button to move around is a lot quicker for me okay um okay so just panning around if you select the different objects you will see that they are highlighted in the outliner um we are going to delete our light and we're going to delete our camera okay i'm going to show you a couple ways that you can delete objects um i guess the most common one i'm gonna say the most common one um that you can click left click on an object and then you can right click on it and just select delete and boom it'll 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 disappear you can also um left click on your object to select it and you can press x and it will bring up the menu to delete and boom it's gone <laughs> um and then next um you can bring it back and so i'm going to show you the next way and the way that you bring it back is just press ctrl z but if we come over to the outline and we right click on the light and then we select choose select hierarchy we will select everything for in that collection for the light and then you just go back and right click and select delete okay all right so the reason why i chose uh to select the hierarchy before um deleting is because sometimes you will have multiple meshes within an object and sometimes you can't see it um unless you you know click the arrow um to bring the drop down to show the drop down menu um but a lot of sometimes we don't think to to show the drop down menu and you might forget that you have actually multiple meshes within that one object so maybe you started out with the cube to create a car but then within that same object you had a a sphere for the um a sphere a cylinder a cylinder <laughs> to create the wheels um 
but they are two separate meshes but the overall object you have it labeled as car so you you sometimes if you just cl right click on it and delete you can just delete the body of it or delete one of the meshes but not the other so um just uh to i, I guess you could say to practice you know in good what's the word i'm looking for foundational tools um just just choose select hierarchy if you're trying to delete the whole thing select the hierarchy first and then so choose to delete it okay all right so we'll delete the camera now um you can just press x to delete or you can choose to go to the outliner to delete it what we're left with is our cube okay we're going to keep the cube here for now because I'm, I'm going to use the cube to show you how to use other gizmos and tools okay from the left side toolbar so what we will start with is the move tool once you select the move tool it will allow you then you then you click on the object it will allow you to move your object around in the space if you use the gizmos um the arrows or the the little boxes or the center cursor it will move it according to um those aspects so if you select the blue arrow blue arrow is connected to the z-axis red is the x-axis and yellow is the y-axis so if you move it that way you can i don't typically use the gizmos on the screen i like to use the keyboard shortcuts um so the sh keyboard shark shortcut to move is g um if you just select g it will move it freely around in space um i like to move it along move my objects along the axis for more precision um so i like in order to do that all you have to do is press g and then choose whichever axis that you want so if you want to move something you can press g and then you can press x y or z so let's do z first and you'll see it will snap it to the z axis and move it around even if for some reason um you ch you select g and move your object around before you select the axis you can still select your axis and it will bring it back to where um your object originally was to that axis okay so if you select x y and z it'll move it along those axes next tool we are going to use is the rotate tool very similar you can use the gizmos on the screen to rotate it's very simple you know just move it around um just practice along with me uh again we're gonna take it a step at a time y'all uh, i really want you guys to understand how to use blender if you can understand how to use blender oh my gosh you can create anything with ease okay so just keep rotating the keyboard um i'm gonna i'm just gonna undo these things um to get us back to uh, where we were but the keyboard shortcut for rotate is r so if you select r or like just like if you select g to move if you select r and don't press anything else it will move your object around um freely so if you press r it'll go anywhere um, um <clears throat> according to where you are looking in what whatever direction you're looking in um that's where it'll move it freely around um if you want to rotate around specific axis you just press r and then you can select the z axis the x axis or the y axis you can also type in numbers too so you can type in numbers to represent the degrees so if you want to rotate 90 degrees you can rotate 90 degrees um you can rotate 180 degrees you can rotate negative 90 um all of that okay um if you press alt and middle mouse button at the same time you know how we use middle mouse button to pan around the object if you press alt and middle boss button while you are panning it will snap it to um the different sides of your object you can see right here right now we're snapped to 
one side you do it again you can we're snap to um another side now we're snap to the left side um the back right bottom top okay you can also use your numpad um to snap to different sides of your object too so if you just press one two three you will see that it will snap to different sides i i use alt um right now my blender scene is default so I, um i don't have any additional settings set but you can also there are if you don't have a numpad like me there you can make it so that you can use your numbers that are at the top of your keyboard i don't have it set right now but i'll show you later on how to do that um and then we have our scale tool with the scale tool you can make your object bigger or smaller um with the gizmo obviously um it will move it according to um which, whichever uh point that you select say if you select the red dot or the red the red um gizmo to move it'll move it along the x-axis if you select the green it'll move it along the y-axis if you select blue it'll scale it along the z-axis again i don't typically use the on-screen gizmo i like to use shortcut what is the shortcut for scale s <laughs> and then again if you want to scale along the axis you just press which axis you would like x y or z and you can scale so just practice along with me scaling um and then control z to delete everything okay and that's pretty much everything you guys everything that we're going to be using to create our mlo we're gonna the final thing we're going to do is delete the cube um and then in our next video we are going to i'm going to show you how to add new meshes objects to your scene we are going to create a scene um don't be overwhelmed <laughs> we are going to create a scene using primitive objects what are primitive objects primitive objects are our cubes our spheres our cylinders um and that's about it that's there are more, more primitive objects but those are the ones that we're going to be focused on using and i'm going to show you how you can create a scene um just with those objects and how you can make it look uh freaking amazing okay um <laughs> uh, so take this time the next video will go up on friday take this time to just get comfortable with, comfortable with blender i know you probably want to do more um but i'm not rushing i'm not gonna rush this okay i'm not gonna rush this and i need for you you need for you to understand this fully i with all of the questions that i've seen that i've gotten when it comes to creating mlo a lot of times it's just a lack of understanding something is missing a lack of understanding something is the smallest thing is missing um and if you just understand you can do amazing things okay so i need for you to understand and you need for you uh, you to understand so i'm taking it a step at a time um all right so i will see you all in our next video um again we'll be creating our first scene all right i love you <laughs> i'll see y'all next time